Our top story tonight, a Portsmouth family devastated by a gruesome discovery. Their beloved dog shot to death in their backyard. The family says it happened last Friday in the West Haven area. Ted on your sides and McNamara is live near the family's home with the details and hard to imagine what this family's going through. Katie, it's a very upsetting story, and Gary Hedgens is with the owner of this dog. He says, first of all, he can't understand why someone would do this, and second, he can't understand how they did it, and that's because the area in his backyard is completely surrounded by a six-foot fence. Now, Gary Hedgens has two pit bulls. One of them was Leia, the dog that was shot. The other, Luke, you see him playing with here, and here's what he said happened. He came home from work just like any other day, went directly to his backyard, opened the gate, and yelled Leia's name. She, of course, didn't come. He found her in what he calls her favorite spot, but she was stiff and she was shot to death. So I pulled her over here into the shade and rolled her over and I found two uh, bullet holes in her side and blood was coming out of her mouth and it's basically what, you know, what, why or who would have done it and immediately just thinking of, you know, where. And again, Gary said they, someone must have shot over this fence. He doesn't believe that his dog was specifically a target. He said the dog, though a pit bull, has never bit anyone, never made any enemies, and he doesn't understand, again, why someone would do this. He said those bullet holes did seem to be from small caliber uh, pistol, and he says maybe that's why no one seemed to have heard anything, and this really is his last plea. He's offering a $400 reward for anyone or any information leading up to an arrest. Reporting live in Portsmouth, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. Back to you, Katie.